Guys, alright. This up a little bit. Okay. What is going on, guys? PS4 Scoper here today, bringing you another vlog. Um, you know, I'm sorry about the vlogs. Like I said in my last video, uh, I have to keep freaking doing vlogs because my internet company is a ripoff. And if you haven't seen the last video, go ahead and watch that because I, I, I explain everything. I'm just going to get into this video and we're going to get started. Okay, so today I want to talk about the release of Assassin's Creed and Halo. Five. I want to talk about what maybe Halo 5 is going to have to offer. Why am I doing a freaking Halo video on my PlayStation 4 account? I don't know, maybe because Halo is the most, one of the most awesome franchises in the freaking history of the freaking gaming industry. That's the one good thing I have to say about Microsoft. You guys made a great game, a great franchise, congratulations. Uh, so this will be the only time I will ever like mention a Microsoft video game company or whatever the heck you want to say. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Halo 5. So, um, you know, save the best for our last. Alright, Halo 5, they say that Master Chief is dead, right? Well, in my opinion, if you're trapped in that big suit of armor and it shuts down on you, are you going to be able to move? I don't think so. And he's not going to be able to have any signal or any kind of context out because the suit is completely shut down. Now, I don't really know how they think he died, but I think he fell or something. Maybe it would have cracked the chip that runs his actual suit, and it would have shut down on him, and he's trapped in the suit. He can't move. The suit is like a thousand, like, maybe two, two thousand pounds, because it's pure, like, from what I know, it's like titanium. You're not going to be able to, like, if you punch Master Chief in the face, you're going to break your freaking hand. It's going to hurt. So, I don't really know much about the story. But the gameplay looks amazing. I've seen a couple of YouTubers that get the early release, and two months before the freaking release, you guys are seriously lucky. Take advantage of that. Make some videos. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about the gameplay and how amazing it looked. These guys, these guys, you know, Halo 4, they kind of had a, uh, like a pretty much good hint that they're going to start making it look realistic. When you're climbing the, uh, at the beginning of the game, you're escaping the, the, the ship with, uh, Cortana, and you're climbing up the thing, and these things are falling, you gotta jump, like, dodge them, and it's freaking crazy, it's a German Russian, and then you get up there, and it's alien, and it looks like you're actually playing, and you stab in the stomach. It was awesome, I really love the game, so. So, kinda in Halo 4, it kinda hinted at that. I remember playing Halo 4 back in the way old videos, my voice wasn't even deep, I had a freaking scrawny little kid voice. But I might try to get those videos back uploaded because I'm sorry with the hand motions. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what movie that's from but it was freaking hilarious. But um, yeah, so the Halo 5 gameplay, from what I see, it looks amazing. All I remember, uh, I watched uh, Boogie2988 play it. I highly suggest you subscribe to him. He's a really awesome dude. Um, he's really great. He's got a great heart. He's a good person. So if you guys really want to go subscribe, I'll put his link in the description, or at least I will try, because he's such a great YouTuber, and uh, he's helped me a lot. He's helped a lot of people. So if you're depressed, whatever the heck, Go subscribe to Boogie2988 because he's such a great YouTuber. Anyway, so I want to get back into the thing. Alright, so on the release of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, will Syndicate be good? Um, I feel like it's not going to be good. I don't know why. It's just, you know, Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed 4, it just sucked. I don't know why. You know, Unity had great gameplay, but the story was pure. Crap tomato. It's a new word. I just came up with a new word, guys. Crap tomato. Put it in the dictionary. Anyway, so the Assassin's Creed Unity and the Assassin's Creed 4. What the heck happened to Desmond? He's dead. That's it? That's it? No brother, no freaking father, no son, maybe? What the heck, guys? Br at least bring Desmond back. Uh, or somebody related to Desmond, you know. There's no outside gameplay of the Animus. You're stuck in the Animus, and you're playing as this one person. It's boring as heck. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Now, in Assassin's Creed Unity, what I liked about Unity is they added more, more you, 
more of your customization. You can be what you want to be. You can wear what you want. You can, uh, heck, you can wear, like, a freaking soft robe. <coughs> Excuse me. A soft robe and hard armor on your chest. So that's what I liked about Unity. That was really awesome about Unity. But, the gameplay. Let me get about the gameplay, the combat. Yeah, you had all these swords. You had a sword. You can choose from a sword, a blunt weapon, a gun, a... Uh, I don't think it was a pistol. Guillotine gun. And that was your four types of weapon choices, I believe. No, and the spear. So, uh, with that being said, um... I'm sorry. With that being said, uh, you couldn't use your hidden blades to fight. You couldn't use your fist. And it was really disappointing because I loved fighting with the hidden blades. And I loved playing as Ezio. Dodging the the hits and then punching him in the face a couple times. I loved it. I loved it. I missed fist fighting. Bring that back. And from, all, from what I saw in the trailer, there is going to be fist fighting. But, you know, sometimes the trailer is not, like, the gameplay, like, did Alan. Did Alan make, make the scene so beautiful, so compelling, and you just, you saw it, and you wanted to buy the game right away. You buy the game, it looks like crap, the gameplay's crappy. But it's still fun to play. Um, but it wasn't as good as the trailer made it seem. So, yeah, guys. Those are the two topics I talked about today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe. Um, elbow the like button. Elbow it. Yeah. Let's be different. Let's be different. Let's be different. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Boogie's channel will be in the description below. Make sure you check them out, please, for me. Um, I'll see you guys later. Now, um, there's going to be a, a, a weird thing when I have to pick up the phone because um, it's set up weird. I'll see you guys later.